What's poppin' writers? I'm Caitlin Marshall. And I'm Kylie Pendleton. And, and this, this is, is RJTV. On this week's episode of RJTV, we give you an, a sports roundup and an inside look into Korean baseball. A sport update. Raiders continue to do service from home. Junior Riley, juniors Riley Ward, Olivia Baptiste, and Riley Fitzgerald decorated the Chelsea Place for a Mother's Day parade. And Olivia Baptiste participated in the parade itself. <laughs> Performing Arts Department is still making music. Virtual spring concerts from the Vox Luces, Advanced Piano, and Guitar can be seen on the school's YouTube page. Speaking of our RJ Media crew, shout out to RJ TV reporter Armando Maldonado, whose broadcast story with his sister, who is a reporter for Telemundo in Las Vegas, won second place in the state for broadcast multimedia stories this week. Freshman Liam Waters, who won first place for the best portrait photography, Paul Monroe took home third place in the six shot video stories. And Ryan Tierney got an honorable mention for general covered reporting. What an awesome day to be a Raider and a student journalist. We are proud of you. Speaking of our RJ Media crew putting in hard work, our Elevate Mag Magazine staff won first place in 5A in the Colorado Student Media Association for the pandemic issue of Elevate Magazine. If you haven't read it yet, check, out, check it out on our social media pages and announcements. We are so proud of our Elevate team and can't wait to see what's next for Elevate Magazine. First up, we have our final Raiders Sports Spotlight of the Year. Here's, here's Hudson Ridley and Marcus Schultz. Hey guys, I'm Hudson Ridley. And I'm Marcus Schultz, and this is your Raiders Sports Spotlight. Well, there aren't many sports going on right now. There's still a lot of things to talk about. That's right, Hudson. Sophomore Wesley Dyer is also hosting a Denver sports podcast. You can listen to that on rjmedianow.com. His first episode is up right now with Peter Smith and Cole Branswell. Also, to make make sure to check out previous episodes of Raider Sports Radio Podcast on YouTube. Well, most sports aren't going on right now, but there is one sport that I think you should take a look at. Here's some reasons why I think you should watch Korean baseball. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Do you really miss sports or contact with other humans, but mostly sports? Well, if so, you're in luck, because baseball is back, live at 3.30 a.m. from sunny South Korea. Yeah, it's 3.30 a.m., but what are you going to do, wake up early tomorrow? The KBO has household names like Park Byung-ho and Jamie Romack, but baseball is baseball, and at this point, I'll take what I can get. The KBO is headlined by the NC Dinos and their massive mascot, Swole Daddy, who definitely lives up to the name. The theatrics might be better than the actual game itself, and there may be no fans in attendance, minus the cardboard cutouts of Korean K-pop band members, but I'm desperate for anything, and Korean baseball definitely makes the cut. Well, that's going to do it for the last Sports Spotlight of the year. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and go Raiders! Senior pranks have not been a thing here at Regis, but today, Cole Monroe wanted to give us an inside view of what this year's senior pranks will look like. But wait, isn't Cole Monroe a freshman? <laughs> yeah, Kylie, he is. The rules have been reversed. Check it out. Really? Good one, Cole. Now, switching gears a little bit, look out for the premiere of the original RJ Media Crossing Borders documentary this summer. We will share that on all of our social media, and it'll be up on our RJ Media YouTube page. We are so proud of our RJ Media crew for the hard work they've put into this documentary over the past seven months. Make sure to check it out. And that's not the only documentary that we have for you this year. Freshman and RJ Media reporter Isabella Maravec is here to tell us about a film she's been working on that is up on RJ Media's YouTube today. As the world's quarantine time increases, pollution, carbon emissions, fossil fuels, melting polar ice caps, strange weather changes, and overall climate change seems to have decreased. However, this does not mean the fight to save the earth is over. This year, I had the opportunity to be a part of an inspiring movement and witness many incredible speakers from Fort Collins to Civic Center Park, Denver, where I got to hear Greta Thunberg speak on action we must take to save our planet and each other. 
My short documentary is out on our RJ Media YouTube channel. Here's a look at a preview of my experiences talking to people, what it takes to be a respectful and unified community fighting for one planet, one people, and one future. Our future. Leaving Fort Collins that day, I kept thinking about the experience I had. So many teens like me were doing something that I was told was impossible by society. My whole life, children were too young to do something like this. Yet I was a part of this strike organized by kids. It was amazing and inspiring to me. I wanted to share it with everyone at my school. Thank you, Isabella. Well, Raiders, looks like that all we, that's all we have for you this week and this school year. We want to give a big thank you to all teachers, faculty, and staff for making online distance learning possible. And a shout out to everyone for making it through. We know this wasn't easy. We are proud of you. It's been a pleasure being your anchor this year, but don't worry, I'll be back next year. So will I, along with some new faces and some old. Remember to stay healthy, wash your hands, and keep smiling. Thank you for all your support this year. We really could not have done it without you. Have a good summer, and we will catch you next time on, on RJTV. RJTV. Deuces.